Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel React Developer. And today we will be integrating the map box in our React app. Really a short video just to show the map and a small marker on it, nothing else. So for that we will need the map box API. It's uh, quite easy to create that. Just create your account here. And once you have uh, successfully created the account, you can just create the access tokens. You will get the tokens here. And don't copy this. Uh, because I'll delete after this video. So you'll just need a debit or credit card, but it will give you, as you can see, 50,000 free free loads and 50,000 free requests. So it's quite enough to test uh, the maps. So let's jump into our development part. So we will need that uh, React map box uh, GL. This is the library we will need, and we'll also need the map box GL. The, Mapbox GL JavaScript library. I have already installed it, so I'll just show that. So I have installed a bunch of my TL UI icons and code. Then I have Mapbox GL as you can see. Then I have Map React Map GL. So this is uh, these are the two which we'll need. Okay, so let's copy the access token here once. Uh, okay, and coming back to ENV. I'll just paste it here and I'm importing this token like this here. F <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, token. So I'm getting that token from the ENV. So let's start the server here. Uh, yarn start. I'm using yarn. You can use npm or else. Anything else if you want. I don't know anything other than that. Still. So hello world is there. Good. So we'll need uh, quite a few things. So let's start with that. So const view port. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah. So we here we'll need two of these. Uh, you say the latitudes and the longitudes which will be initially focusing on so if you're getting my point i'll need a latitude so it i am taking the latitudes of uh, suppose delhi so delhi is 28.6448 uh, then i have longitude and longitude is around 7 7.216 I'm not going deep than this and we'll have a zoom label uh, this is for the react map box here so zoom level will be around I guess 6 is enough uh, but uh, we can check this later what zoom levels we want so let's do one thing here Let's style a little bit to the full width there. So style and Android VW, the viewport. And then hide will also the same 100 <coughs> VH. So this will uh, show our app in the whole uh, window just not in the you say a box it will show in the whole window so we'll import the react map seal so react map here it's not giving me the import but still i'll do that import from React map okay. So React map here takes a bunch of options in it. So we'll provide that. So let me do that first. So first we will need that viewport. So how viewport work is 
since we have already created that so just we'll pass this with the spread operators here now we will have some uh, map box api access token and for this i'll be using my token which i have already imported at the top uh, one more dot will be here good then i'll have another things like width width will be 100% same goes with the height <coughs> now we'll have some transitions so i can have a transition duration of uh suppose 200 you can keep it as you like now uh, it takes a very good thing you know it takes a style which i want to keep so if i go to create map studio here what it does is it gives us variety of options to create the designs of map like satellite view and other so i already have this one let me just open this and show you so this is how the <laughs> design looks like a bit of you can say like street view or normal view there's nothing different i'm using the same right now so let's go back and just copy the design So here we will have map style. Oof. It's not working, man. Why? Hmm. Something is wrong, but I don't know what. Okay, it is here. As you can see, the zoom levels are on the Delhi. Uh, we can have a little zoom out thing. So I'll just do this four. And again, load the map. Uh, four is a bit out of the box. Uh, it looks somewhat good, but still we can go a little more. Yeah, this is. So the initial map has been loaded here. Now we'll use the markers. So React MapGL provides you with the markers, which you can use to uh, see the places or some times you want to record something like that. Mm, I'll not go in deeper in that part, but still I'll show you the using of that, uh, what you call is marker. So I'll use a new place thing here, set new, is u state will be null for initial okay and it will be a new so in this one i'll write if new place and for some reason i use this uh dictionary operator you know for the if statement and then at last I use the null instead of uh, the sort and process of using double add. You can say it's my personal choice. You can go with the double add thing. And means there's no limitation for that. But I just don't use that. <laughs> it's just my personal choice that I don't do. So in marker, marker will take two, three things. Like uh, first of all, it will take the latitude of that. So latitude will be the new place. You know the new place dot let we will store this one wait for a second uh, longitude we'll have the long and we'll have the height here so offset height uh, offset left uh, okay offset left is good uh, i'll have minus 3.5 minus 3.5 and also I'll have a, a viewport zoom 
so view or or so so if you're getting my point it's uh, going to multiply the zoom available in the view code and just show the marker here and again we'll have the offset top two so offset top and it will be uh, just same so i'll copy it i just will change the variable here to the seven you can say the double now there's two things we need to uh, do before seeing the marker out there first of all is like we'll have to store the always when we are clicking we'll have to store the longitude and latitude before that thing we'll first use a view code change here we go and view code change gives us the viewport as a argument by default okay so this one is all now this viewport can be directly stored in our viewport <coughs> so if you want to console this set uh, viewport you will uh, see the uh, changing locations uh, with the latitude and longitude now i'll have a uh, two things on db double click it's not db click it's double click so i'll have a function here and click now this function will do a work now this function will have the event here so an event of the this double click gives us the uh, lang gate it's called lang lid and this object contains the longitude and the latitude so for that thing we'll have a very easy thing cons longitude plus latitude is equal to e dot e dot lng l and now what we will do is we are, will just use the set new place and set new place will have and set new place will have <coughs> both this lat and long thing so lat is equal to latitude and long will have the longitude So if you want to see, you can just uh, console here maybe console dot log new base. It will shift I. Go to console. Uh, that's a brand new. If I click here. But it's working right now, I guess. Let me do one thing, just check for is it the function is working or not? No, I don't see any difference here. Let me do one thing. I forgot to do this. Let index. Uh, let it be nine ninety nine. No, still not working. But still, I'll uh, print that and see what's happening. Attitude and longitude it looks good. Here uh, we will use the icon. So I'll use a material UI icon. It's called room. And <clears throat> we'll give this a color. So style. 
you can use as X as the default options available in the MUI part. But I'm using that style. So font size will be seven into viewport dot so and then we'll have color color will have bit matto and cursor will be off mm, I guess this looks good It's popping up so as you can see wherever we will click uh, if you will just and if we click somewhere it will give the latitude and longitude of that we can have a different zoom levels like if I put a four here if you can see the whole in doubt okay and we go go to Mumbai part We transition. Let me make this transition to real quick and red. Still slow somewhat. So this is all for this video. I uh, hope you got some information to integrate the maps. And if you do like my videos, please subscribe my channel as I'm just 50 subscribers to the 1K and hopefully I can monetize my channel after that. So please subscribe and do like and uh, share the video so that it can have a better reach. Thank you very much guys.